views that the resignation would safeguard the trust in the Electoral Commission. The President's appointment of Dr. Peter Piahene and Hajia Salim Atijani sparked public concern, prompting the NDC to petition the Council of State. Dr. Kujua Santi of CDD Ghana explained the concerns of the CSOs. The appeal is a better way of kind of stepping back rather than forcing the issue into it, you know, going to court and because sometimes uh, legalization of these kinds of issues doesn't help. I think we, we have to understand that if the democracy wants to, we want to progress. Elections have been the cornerstone of Ghana as a model democracy. The individuals themselves, if there are ways in which to appeal to them that you don't want to have to be under this cloud all the time, you know, and therefore there are many ways in which you can, you know, deploy your talents and so on. And why don't you do that? Former New Patriotic Party Chairman Peter McMenu emphasized the need for reforms in EC appointments. I've gone through the electoral system with the IPAC and most of the appointments in the previous years were skewed. We bore the pain, but we sat and went through it and won the elections in 2016. So if we put it in the public domain, that Mr. A or B has been found as a lecturer, a Tescon uh, uh, patron at uh, Sunyani Polytechnic, so the entire electoral process should break down. I beg to differ. Director for CSO Engagement of the NDC, Peter Buama Otukuno, expressed concern over the silence of civil society and the media regarding the attempted politicization of the Electoral Commission. What emboldened the president? Remember, that after her appointment, some deputy was also appointed. And that deputy, we also know very well, as a test patron, we have raised concerns. We raised thorough concerns. Nothing was done. He has performed. We have seen his posture. And still, there is no element of independence in that person's posture. Yet, nobody was supporting the cause. Nobody said anything. CSOs were quiet. The lack of a standardized resort management process, disinformation, and the monetization of politics are some of the key issues that were flagged by the coalition of CSOs at this roundtable discussion going into the 2024 elections. Duke Mentopoku, TV3 News, Accra.